Welcome to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba. Thanks for joining with us. I've got Stephen Little, Zero Limit Ventures, on the show with me today. Stephen, welcome back to the show. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure to be here. Mine too. All right, your term, never too early. What, yeah. uh, you know, tell us about the, uh, the founders and business owners' delay and thinking about, uh, about the acts. Bring that, break that out for me. Yeah. Well, you know, um, a lot of people start their business, and, they're, and it's only natural that when you've come up with an idea, you've validated the idea, you're out there and you step into the market and you start doing all the hard work necessary to, to establish and then build and grow a business, you don't really often think in terms of where it's going and what the exit strategy looks like. And yet you have people like me that have been doing this a long time that are saying, no, no, you should start with the exit strategy. Begin with that. And here's why. That's going to show you where the key value opportunities are for your business. Mm -hmm. Right? So, um, so really, you know, when you first approach a business owner that might have, might, maybe they've been running for a year, two years, five years, something like that, right? It's not uncommon for them to say, no, I'm not ready to exit yet. You know, call, I'll be ready in a couple of years. Call me in a couple of years. And what we try to get them to do is stop for a minute and understand that, look, the exit strategy is not about the exit. It's about the strategy. If you understand what your potential buying market looks like, who would buy you? Why would they buy you? Who would pay more for you and for what reason? Then you can start to make better decisions about growing the value of your business, right? When people think of, of business growth, they're generally thinking of revenue, earnings, profits, margins, that kind of thing. Those are factors, and they're important things to monitor. Don't get me wrong. But the more important element that, from my perspective, is we'll make sure you're investing in the growth of value, right? That's it. Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to matter is the value of the business. And where you put your resources, because you're, if you're putting them in the wrong place, that's going to get you, uh, not get you to the 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 end goal, if you yeah. exit, um, you're well, wasting resources. And it here's an example. Go ahead. Here's an example. If you go right from the start, right, um, or at any time during the legacy of your business, um, let's just say hypothetically you have one prospective buyer who's interested in buying you for access to your customers and your customer acquisition and retention processes. In other words, they're saying, I have product, I want to buy a market, that I'm confident will continue to grow, mm -hmm. right? And let's say that buyer is interested enough that they're going to pay you, you know, let's say six times earnings for the business, right? That's a reasonable number, okay? Well, there's another buyer out there for your business, and they might be interested in you. I mean, yeah, customers might be important to them, but it might be more important to them maybe is your intellectual property, um, your brand, or even your personnel, your people, Right, is another good reason. So, and maybe they're interested enough that they're going to pay eight times earnings for you, right? Now, if you knew that, right, mm -hmm. and you had a hundred thousand dollars to invest in your business, where would you invest it? Obviously, where the bigger payoff is. Exactly, you'd invest it in brand or or IP or you know whatever, not customer acquisition. Now, customer acquisition is always important, don't get me wrong, but you would be then you would be looking at that investment decision through a different filter. This one builds value, this one builds less value, right? So I'm going to invest heavier, more heavily here than here because I'm going to be building more value. So and without knowing that, how do you make that decision? You really can't. You can only you stumble can't. on it. You can only guess. And most people would... On the average, grass, I'm going to go with customer acquisition because revenue and profitability is better for me in the short term, and it must be good in the long term as well. Well, yeah, sort of, but not if you're really looking at the accumulated value of your business over time. So this is why, you know, when, I, when people say, well, I'm not ready to exit, I stop them and say, I'm, I don't want to talk to you about exit. I want to talk to you about valuation growth and the way you find out what to invest in is through an exit strategy. I agree. Well said. Thanks for being on the show today, Steve. You bet. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. You've been watching CEO Money with Michael Yorba. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.